Kim Jong-un, the youngest of three sons born to Kim Jong-il, spent most of his early life shrouded in mystery, away from public scrutiny. Growing up, he received his education in the tranquil town of Gumligen, Switzerland, at the International School of Bern. From 2002 to 2007, Kim Jong-un honed his skills at Kim Il-sung National War College in Pyongyang. As he blossomed into adulthood, he began to accompany his father on military inspections, sparking speculations about his role in either the Korean Workers' Party, the ruling party of the country, or in the army's general political bureau, both known for their surveillance of government officials. In 2009, whispers of Kim Jong-un being groomed as the successor to his father started to circulate. He was listed as a candidate for the Supreme People's Assembly in the same year and was given a post on the influential National Defense Commission. By mid-2009, he was being hailed within the country as the brilliant comrade. In a significant move, he was named head of the State Security Department, the government agency responsible for political control and counterintelligence. It was also in this year that he reportedly married Ri Solju. Kim Jong-un was catapulted to the high rank of a four-star general in September 2010, despite no known prior military experience. This appointment was seen as a significant step in solidifying his position as the heir to his father's power. The death of his father in December 2011 marked the beginning of Kim Jong-un's reign. He was declared the country's supreme leader, a title that indicated his control over both the government and North Korea's military forces. In April 2012, his status was cemented by acquiring several official titles, first secretary of the KWP, chairman of the Central Military Commission, and chairman of the NDC, then the country's highest bureaucratic authority. In 2013, Kim Jong-un introduced the national strategy of Byung-jin, emphasizing the simultaneous development of the country's economy and defense capabilities. In 2016, a revision in the constitution broadened and solidified Kim Jong-un's position with the creation of a new organization, the State Affairs Commission, replacing the NDC as North Korea's most powerful governing agency, with Kim as its head. In conclusion, Kim Jong-un's rise to power is a tale of strategic grooming, calculated moves, and the consolidation of power. From his secretive early life in Switzerland to his ascension as North Korea's supreme leader, his journey is a testament to the enigmatic and powerful world of North Korean politics. In the early years of Kim Jong-un's reign, North Korea underwent a severe consolidation of power. This period saw the execution of Kim's uncle, Jang Song Taek, in December 2013, who was a member of the previous Kim's inner circle and an advocate for closer ties with China. This ruthless consolidation was accompanied by a sharp acceleration of the country's nuclear weapons program. Under Kim Jong-il, North Korea's nuclear program had progressed inconsistently. The country's first underground nuclear detonation in October 2006, just a few months after a series of ballistic missile tests, was considered a moderate success at best. But everything changed in February 2013, marking the first nuclear test of the Kim Jong-un regime. This event dramatically increased the pace of both underground detonations and long-range missile tests. Fast forward to 2017, North Korea had conducted a total of six nuclear tests, including at least one involving a device small enough, according to North Korean officials, to be mounted on an intercontinental ballistic missile. This advancement put a significant part of the mainland United States theoretically within range of a North Korean nuclear attack, igniting a verbal battle between Kim and US President Donald Trump. Moving into the 2020s, North Korea continued to advance its nuclear capabilities despite international pressure. In 2023, North Korea showcased an underwater nuclear attack drone named Hail-1, claiming it could cause a devastating radioactive tsunami. However, experts questioned the weapon's capabilities, believing Pyongyang's claims to be exaggerated. North Korea's nuclear program is a complex and multifaceted issue with a history as intriguing as it is concerning. From the early power consolidation under Kim Jong-un's reign and the accelerated nuclear weapons program to the development of intercontinental ballistic missiles and underwater nuclear attack drones, the nation's drive to expand its nuclear arsenal is clear. In summary, 
North Korea's nuclear program has seen significant advancements over the years, marked by dramatic increases in testing and development. Despite international scrutiny and pressure, the nation remains steadfast in its nuclear course, posing significant challenges for global security and diplomacy. This journey through North Korea's nuclear history serves as a stark reminder of the pressing need for continued dialogue and negotiation in the pursuit of global peace and stability.